I had to do quickly show you this on video. I've got XBMC working on the Raspberry Pi. So uh, there's the Raspberry Pi uh, with XBMC on the SD card. I downloaded an image and then uh, copied the image to the SD card and running. And as you can see here now, I've got XBMC running. Now I haven't got a lot of content. If I haven't got any content on the uh, Raspberry Pi at the moment, well, what I have done is I've just plugged my uh, Samsung Galaxy phone into the USB so it's using the hard drive so for example I can go and play some music so there we go now that's um, playing the music from a phone it's working really nice So this is music stored on the phone, just playing as, as an external hard drive. Works fine. Stop that. When I stop that, I'm actually using my um, Videobox keyboard. I use the, the transport control there to stop music as well, which is pretty good. Okay, so let's um, just... I also tried some video. Join the forces to so, stop so there we are, that's playing... Um, so from the S from the phone's uh, memory card as well. So I've got nice stereo sound, everything's working the BBC uh, really well on there. As well as uh, music and pictures and videos, there's lots of programs you can get and they all seem to work. So you can see there's a whole load of things, TV guides and torrent downloaders, uh, backups and um, all sorts of different programs as well. So uh, this looks like a, a, a nice way of getting XBMC on the PC. So that's using OpenLEC to get uh, media playing on the Raspberry Pi and uh, as you can see it works pretty well. It's uh, fairly fast, it's nice and smooth and uh, the music and sound, vi pictures, video, everything working.